Danielle, use on the schlein. Hi, Papa Swolio. Do you have any advice for plus size women in the gym? Thank you for your call. Do I have any advice for plus size women in the gym? Yes, go. <laughs> go to the fucking gym. I mean, do everything that a normal, like you're a normal person. Let's stop acting like a plus size, someone who's fat. Let's be honest, fat, obese, morbidly obese, that you're going to be really doing something different. So it might be, it depends if you have a very extreme situation and you're very, very morbidly obese and you have a tough time walking on your own, you're going to need some other sort of like nutritional or intervention, or maybe someone to come to your house. You know, we're talking, we're not talking about extreme. We're talking about the standard deviation. If you're plus size, go to the fucking gym lift. I I will give you some advice because a lot of people might just hop on a treadmill because they're embarrassed. You need to lift weights. So I actually will give advice here. You need to lift heavy weights. You're not going to get fatter. I think a lot of women, we know this. A lot of women don't want to get bulky. I don't want to get bulky. Yes, you do. But what I mean by that is you want to build muscle. Ladies, you want to build muscle. Getting bulky is going to require you to take anabolic steroids and make it your number one goal to put on muscle. It's hard for women to put on muscle and it's even harder. It's hard for everyone to put on muscle. It's a challenge, but it's even harder for women to get to the point where you're just an absolute monster. It's not going to work like that for you ladies, but you need to build muscle. It's going to improve your metabolism, your bone structure, your bone density. It's going to improve your energy levels, everything that it would do for a man. And it's actually going to help you metabolize more fat. You're going to have a better figure. You're going to look better. You're going to feel better. So lift heavy, lift heavy. And don't think that because you're obese that you are going to get fat. It's quite the opposite. It's quite the opposite. If you just try to do cardio until you pass out, you're just going to be skinny fat. It's going to be very hard for you to lose that weight and you probably gain it all back. I'm not even joking. So make sure you're lifting heavy weights and nutrition and proper nutrition, do an elimination diet, go carnivore, animal based, not medical advice, but just great advice really focus on your sleep, but get on a quality lifting program. You can do cardio too, but do it after and don't overdo it. Focus on lifting heavy weights and the nutrition. It's going to be excellent for you. Okay. Cool. Good call. Thank you for calling in, Danielle. Excellent. Good call. Uh, Swimming could be good. Swimming is good for general activity. If you're going to do some cardio and you have joint issues, yeah, you can do swimming. It's a little bit harder for people to do at the gym. They have to bring all their stuff and change. A lot of people are probably a lot more self-conscious getting into a swimming pool, especially some of these gyms like LA Fitness. I know down here they have a pool, but then it's a big glass open window to the entrance. So everyone sees you. So if you're self-conscious, if that's the reason, then it's unlikely that you're going to do that. But it could be, yeah, it's less joint, but it's also less gravity. You want to just get moving. You're better off doing like an elliptical machine, even though I don't like those, or a step mill if you're able to do that, or walking on an incline, a low incline on a treadmill. But yeah, swimming is a a buoyant cardiovascular activity. So if you do have a lot of joint issues, it could be temporarily a good idea. <laughs> 